Starting off the tour, we can see the front entrance is covered by two shotgun traps. We enter the base with a simple single door airlock with a window. Here you will find space for a locker. This wall can be replaced with a vending machine, which I'll show later in the build video. As well as space for deployables such as your workbench and furnaces. On this shelf, we have space for two large boxes, three small boxes and your repair bench. We enter the core through this ladder hatch. This is where your bunker will be. Here you'll find space for your sleeping bag, storage and your TC. Here is the upkeep of the base. The bunker can be sealed and opened as shown. Starting off the build, you want to place three triangles to claim your build spot. This is where your TC and main loot room will be. When placing this square foundation, you want to make sure you upgrade it to wood only and no further. This is for your bunker. Place one raised foundation as shown and wall in the rest. For now, you can place deployables such as your furnaces as a jump up. This can also be done using twig stairs as shown. However, once you have a square ladder hatch, place it here. Now place honeycomb as shown. Now place your shotgun traps when you acquire them. You now want to honeycomb the secondary loot room. Make sure to upgrade the square and triangle floor as shown. Now we will continue to place deployables.
a locker can be placed here, or if you prefer, you can place a vending machine for early game trades. At the start of wipe, there is space for a furnace here, but this can be replaced later for more storage. Here are the recommended upgrades when you gather the materials. Once again, here is how you seal the bunker. 